What's up, y'all? I am currently getting ready for the rodeo. Um, I did my hair my first rodeo. I've been here for now marks two. This is two years. Oh, and I cannot wait. Tomorrow I'll get my nails done by this um, new girl. She does Russian mammy and pro cards. Oh, I cannot wait. The birthday like treatment beyond. It started three days ago. <laughs> okay. So this is my first rodeo. I went, well, Wednesday with my students. So I had a couple, the whole school went. So I went with my kiddos and that was fun because it's obviously my kids are from Texas. So they're like showing me the way. They were super excited to like put me onto game. Um, there was one parent too, who was in my group. And she was like, no, you gotta do this. She made me feel so bad for not owning a pair of cow, cow girl boots. I was just like, no, I don't have a pair. She's like, what are you waiting on? I was just like, I don't know where you get them. She was like, oh, honey. She was like, you can get them anywhere. She was like the shoe born, and she was just dropping all these places to go. I was like, oh, no, maybe I'm like really sucky. And y'all probably thinking, dang, that's a lot of sense. And you want, if you put in a little dollar, that ain't really cooking nothing up. You know what I mean? So I'm going to see Bun B. So they have like, each night of the rodeo, they have like different artists that come out and uh tonight is like black heritage night why we got one night and not you know several i don't know mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> so bumby's going out last year he had a whole lot of people come out i forgot who he brought out but last year it was like a big deal like he had mad people out went for a very minimalistic look and i know i say that all the time but i think i'm getting better at the like no makeup look yeah. It's gonna, she did such a good job. I have to do my eyebrows when they're clean because now it's so obvious where I need to fill in and I don't have to do too much to fill it in. And I don't have to make like a new brow because baby, I'm okay with doing my brows, but I'm not building a new brow good. So I'm gonna go in, it's usually the tail end of my brow that like, Pencil I'm using is NYX. It's a micro pencil. Very big on the micro pencil. Why? Because I had this Anastasia pencil and the Anastasia, the tip was so big that like one false move, my brows were like rock. <laughs> so this micro pencil is helpful because I can do little strokes in the brow and it doesn't look crazy. Like that. No, my love this real technique brush. Um, I'm just gonna You know what I need to buy y'all? I need to buy um what's that called? I need to buy a, a powder for my um to like set this stuff because I don't know if y'all know, but your girl don't got a real good setting powder. I have a finished powder, but I don't have like a loose powder. Oh, that's what it is, loose powder. I need a loose powder. You know, I threw my beauty blenders out. Girl, don't even ask me. You know what it was? Because I heard like, oh, they hold so much bacteria, whatever. And I was in a point where I was getting a lot of breakouts, y'all. Like I was having so many freaking breakouts. I was like, oh no, no, no. It's this, it's the brushes. It's it's the sponges. Because the end quick, quickly they left. So I don't have no beauty blenders. Threw those all out. But I will say, if, when you think of the idea of a beauty blender, you have to think like that is just germ infested. Like even if you are um whatchamacallit, even if you are somebody that washes them immediately after, like they sit there damp. Like, you can wring them out and all that. Like, it doesn't, I don't know. When you think about it in retrospect, it's like, mm, yeah, they're pretty gross. Come on. Give it to me, you know? Stop playing. Damn. Yeah. This, do my mascara and stuff like that. And then show y'all the fits.
always vlog, vlog, another vlog. Ooh, God, so I got my fried Oreos. Uh, I think we passed it. Hey, this my uh, waitress or whoever she cashier, she looked like Lee off Team Mom. Hey, yeah, shout out Team Mom. Don't ask me how much I spent on this. Where we going? Where we going? Living the dream, Jay. <laughs> it is. Let me see the time. Eleven twenty-four, and I just want to be in the bed. Is it karaoke? Night? And we're just in this hotel that's like a long way and like exhausted. And fun fact, I have work in the AM, like literally seven hours, so. I mean, obviously your girl's alive. Excuse me. I like to not feel good at all. And not in a sense of like, but like I have this crazy don't mind my room y'all my room is a hot mess um yesterday I got in from the rodeo at like one in the morning and um which was not like I didn't expect to get here super early I forgot what time the concert let out but you know when concerts get out it's always a joke um but yeah so I, I feel really shitty um I have like a headache right here and um fun fact i get headaches all the time i don't think that's like great um i also don't think that's good a shout out to the swisher um but yeah um, one of the vendors well i don't know do we call him a vendor we were in him i don't know but pay ten dollars for this i heard when we went before the concert it was 30. I was like, you needed to have waited, right? Um, but yeah, ten dollars. Got me a cute little Bumby shirt. Um, so there was that. It was definitely a good time. And last thing, um, I want to look at right now. Um, it was definitely a good time, and you can see, like, I didn't even drink 
a lot. I took like maybe this is three sips or something. Um, let me take some ibuprofen. But I have a nail appointment, and the girl who I have a nail appointment with, like Shorty, I had a nail appointment with last time. And not to say I flaked, I didn't flake, but I had to drop off one of my students, and I just ended up wasn't gonna make it on time. So I was like, hey, I gotta cancel. And so very upset about that. Um, but she is someone who specializes in Russian manicures. And I'm excited about it because, um, you know, it's supposed to be like a healthy option for your nail. And the nails I saw looked really, really good on her page. And my friend just got hers done. Um, and they looked really bomb. My thing is, I like to give my nails a break from acrylic. I just know it's gonna fall. Um, I like to give my nails a break from acrylic. Um, and I haven't had a break in a while, so I'm like, yeah, let's do that. So she's also 20 minutes away. My appointment's at 3.45 and it is 08. So I'm hoping to take these ibuprofen. You know, my friend made fun of me because I have my ibuprofen in like a, you know, to go thing. Um, <laughs> and I was just like, no girl, I don't, I buy the big bottle of ibuprofen. So it's like worth my money. Medicine is not cheap. She's also my younger, my young friend. So she a baby. She don't she don't know a look or nothing. Well, she knows stuff, but not too much on me. Yo, is it just me, or is this juice like you could chew it? You know what I mean? It's good. I, it's never no shade. Like Minute Maid for mm, eats the girls up every time. But this milk is like you can't. I mean, this milk, this juice is like you could chew it. I know I'm not bugging. I know I'm not the only one who think that. But yeah. So now. I'm on my way to get my nails done. So at the rodeo, had a ball, right? Literally had a ball. And I, we, I was really pressed about these like margarita slushies or whatever. Finally got them, $20, it was like 17 something, but you know how black folks are, we round up. So past the five, now we rounding up to the next one. And so the next one would be 20. So I spent $20 on the slushie. It was a good amount. But baby, when I tell you I didn't feel a thing, I was like, for twenty dollars, I'm thinking, um, you know what I mean? But kitty boy in the front yard. Oh, 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 damn it! Oh, oh, oh. Not, not, didn't even feel a tickle. Like, huh? It was a joke. I'm hot as hell, so I parked my car in the shade. It was not this hot earlier. It's giving like very oily, and face is looking very moist. Um, let's check. I'm actually gonna throw on my hoodie. I wasn't gonna wear it, but I mean, my hair is, it's not off, oh. It's not awful, but it, you know. So let me go up in here real quick. My appointment was at 3.45. Uh, bitches, a uh, pimp is early. By a couple minutes, not like drastically, but. My skin look good though. We're like in the back of a, like construction. So you see, it's like all little different sweets and stuff. So I am wanting to figure out what sweet she is. It can't be that, that's like a lab. Um, it is so hot as fuck outside. Walking around for 30 minutes. We like the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're waiting. As y'all can see, it is now nighttime. And what I will say about Shorty, when I get to the car, I'll show you my nails. What I can say about her is she's very meticulous. The person that is in like anything artistic or anything having to do like with artistry, you definitely need to have a level of um, meticulousness. So she definitely took her time. I got two um, nails that were designs. I used um, a style that she did on another client, but I reversed the color. What time was my appointment, y'all? It was like three something, 3.45. She was running a little late too, because she had another client. 
but she's meticulous like i said so she takes her time when she's doing these designs um but yeah hold on such a freaking good job um it's she's like it's durable it's not acrylic what she put on but it's basically like um i've seen people on tiktok like apply this or not apply it but you know what i mean so really cute um clearly i want to get something green i'm sitting here trying to edit my um weekend vlog and i realized that i did not close out said vlog so this is me in my pajamas closing it out um thank you so much if you've made it this far in the vlog and like have watched the whole thing whatever if you've made it to this point thank you so much appreciate you um definitely trying to do a lot more vlogging um, there's going to be a lot more vlogs because this is the week of my birthday and so definitely going to have a lot going on so make sure that you don't miss a beat subscribe like share i'm really trying to get my subscribers up i'm trying to hit 100 subscribers and so going to be doing a lot of promo a lot of pumping that out so be prepared to be sick of me um if you are in the houston area i'm going to drop her information down below in the description so check her out She's really like chefskissbomb.com. I have my friend who's coming into town and I'm gonna try to get her to get an appointment um, with Shorty. But as always, thank you. Peace and love. Stay blessed. Stay black. Peace.